personally, I think practice is best to do like lots of the short questions, um, but we should do some long questions too. So, what are your thoughts? What are you thinking about this one? This is a hard question, by the way. I'm warning you now. Okay, yeah, so you're right. So we can factorize the bottom into the square root of x squared minus 1, square root of x squared plus 1. Okay, immediately. It's like graph sketching is really important. I would be surprised for any of you thinking of applying for Fiznatsky if you, if you are not asked to sketch a graph. I showed you the one I was asked to sketch in my interview. It wasn't as difficult as this. Um, first of all, what do we want to look for when we're sketching graphs? Asymptotes. Asymptotes. Are there any on this? One. Okay, where is it? Oh, one. Perfect, okay. And what does the graph look like around these um, asymptotes? Okay, so we found the asymptotes and they're at one and minus one. What else do we want to do? We want to look at what happens when x gets really, really big. And when x gets really, really big, what happens? Um, oh, well, when x gets really, really big, we can ignore this, can't we? We can ignore this minus 1. Cause... So we're left with... Um... Apologies. We're left with 1 over the square root of x to the 4, which is x squared. And then at the top, we have basically x minus x. Okay. So it's tending towards something like this. Um, and in fact, before this, but before we can, um, we can get rid of this one, minus 1 much longer than this one and this one here. Because x to the 4 will increase much quicker than x squared. Um, so in fact... As x gets very big, this obviously tends towards 0, because x minus x is about 0, right? And it tends towards it like 1 over x. Everyone okay with that? Sort of? Okay. So what might it look like? Yeah? Um, could it go up? Right. On the, to, to the left of minus 1? Oh, okay. So... Okay. No? And then on the other sides, a downward sloping curve. So I agree with this. What happens in the middle? Nothing. Because um, x squared minus x is equal to zero. Precisely, yeah. Okay. Do you see that? So this is. Um, this is actually completely undefined in the middle because x squared minus 1 is less than 0 in this region. There is no graph here. Okay, so that'll do for the sketch for the moment. Um, the other way you can do it is you can try putting in a number like minus 1.1. That would be quite easy to plug in, work out, and you'd realise it's quite big. It's probably about here, getting bigger and bigger. Um, there are no intercepts of either of the axes, in fact, for this graph. Okay. Okay. 